Welcome to Let's Play Dragon's Revenge on the Sega Genesis. This is a game that I don't really know. We're going to try it out anyway. We're probably not going to beat it because the password that I have does not give me... It only gives, I think, I think it said 20, 20 lives, something like that. So we probably won't be able to beat this, also because I don't really know the game. I fiddled with it for just a few minutes. But already you can notice that the, the, the graphics and the art style aren't as good as the last game. They're not as good as... It does have this weird thing when you pull back the plunger, though. And we've got a lady's face on the table again. And a demon dragon skull up at the top. It's got this weird side part of the table which doesn't have any flippers in it, so you just watch the ball bounce around. Oh, I've got a little middle, little middle stopper there. But yes, the ball physics are much worse than they were in the last game as well. Just not as good of a game by a long shot. The ball is very flighty and light. There's no weight to the ball. It bounces around too fast. Huh? So I'm probably not going to put too much time into this one. Just, just showing it off, really. Not necessarily going to beat it. Unless it's a lot easier than the other one. Ooh. Okay, we've got a green arrow up there. That. I know you can go into the dragon head, both of the dragon heads, to get special levels. I'm guessing the green arrow over there does that too. Trying to direct the ball over there is a whole ordeal. The ball physics are much worse than they were in the predecessor. The flippers are very... Just, um, it doesn't have the same sense of weight and predictable angles that the other one had. Oh, okay, so we're in a... Bonus level now. <laughs> I decided to go with Cheesecake Babe illustrations on this one. And now we've got to burst a bubble with the lady in it. She's, I guess, a captive of some sort of bubble blower people. Alright. She's free. 
She's shooting some Hadoukens. Completed. Special extra bomb. So I guess the redhead. I guess the redhead is the villain. Hey, we got gold ball now. went all the way straight down the middle. One big problem with this table is that the paddles are lined up vertically, so if it goes straight down in between the top, it's also going to go straight down through the bottom and you'll lose a ball. Alright, well, that's ball gone. Yeah, the skittishness of the physics makes it harder to aim in this one. Really is a downgrade in terms of gameplay at least. And graphics and music, I would say. There is more to the table. I mean it's a bigger, more complicated it's a bigger, more complicated table, but. quantity over quality. Okay, now that dragon head is opened up. So let's go in there. We've got two balls now. Two balls and two mirrored copies of the same illustration. Okay, we lost on the bonus round. Huh. When you get done with the bonus round, it sends you back to the launcher instead of throwing you back out on the field directly like the old game did. Huh. We have found 
the bolt count is not going down. Maybe this code actually gives you infinite bolts? The bolt count's not going down. Hmm. Oh, damn it. Yeah, we're not losing balls when we die. For now, anyway. Well, it does seem like it resets the table, perhaps. The guy in the top right up there was gone and now he's back. This game does definitely not have the... Oh, they got, they got us a He-Man now. This game definitely doesn't have the charm of its predecessor. succeeded at one of the bonuses. Is it six bonuses like it was in the previous game and then a boss fight, I wonder? I've only found three entrances to the bonus stages, though. The two dragon heads and the one guarded by the little guy. Okay, come on, let me play the game. I'm not playing the game right now. The game is playing itself. Okay, here we go. Nope. Still not playing. Now we're going to be playing. Don't fall down. Don't fall down. The God damn it. Cheap. Oh, God. 
Oh dear. We've got a head on the loose. Come on. Okay, the tree arms have turned into their own trees. I was at the very end. That was, I had like one more hit to get. This game is going to frustrate me just as much as Dragon's Fury did. It's not going to have the quality to make me endure it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to beat this one. Gonna open back up again, dragon face. Excessive. Excessive speed and bounciness. There's, there's no way to react to that. This one shows you a password whenever you pause it. Skull can open back up again sometime. Well, not if I can't keep the ball in play, it's not. Oh. 
This is very silly. Yeah, the ball just frantically flings all over the place. Okay, that's open again. Hmm. Already lost a ball. This I don't know if I want to try again. Like, you really don't... You don't deserve for me to put more effort into you, game. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. Look at this poorly designed... Poorly programmed, poorly tested. Just look huh? at that. Look at it. What an embarrassment. They could have just built a new table and kept the physics from the first game. They could have. It would have been a lot better. Calm down, lady. It's just pinball. No need to get yourself all worked up like that. Slow down. That's ridiculous. This game is just nonsense. Making the ball go faster was not what the series needed. Just because you've got blast processing doesn't mean you need to use it. Knowing is knowing knowing what I need to do, but 
not being able to make the ball do it because the physics is like the ball never like stops and rolls it's like you're not playing with a pinball you're playing with a bouncy ball this is a this is a high bounce ball out of a vending machine like, look at that it's like everything it hits it acts like it hit a bumper Literally couldn't even see what was happening was so fast. Faster than the human eye. And unlike the previous game, I don't think this one has an option for ball speed in the options menu. Oh, nice glitch work there. Oh, that thing's open now. He's open again now. Oh, this is new. Try again. It is suspicious how frequently the ball in the bonus stages just goes straight down the middle. Suspicious how frequently. Give me a break. How much cocaine were the playtesters on that they thought that this ball speed made sense? Actually, now it's fine. It's once it starts hitting bumpers and stuff. It, like, escalates exponentially. Okay, now what? This one again.
Yeah, I'm not going to put up with this game being frustrating. It does not deserve it. It doesn't deserve my patience. We're just going to get... We're going to get as far as we get. And that's going to be all there is. There's not going to be another attempt at this one. I'd like to beat it, just to show it off, but... I'm not gonna tolerate how awful it is for very long. It's just not a good game at all. Dragon's Fury was a good game ruined by difficulty. This is a bad game. To begin with. Difficulty is just going to make me say bye. Okay, that's open again. What the fuck are these little sperms doing? green sperms fucking with my ball. Okay, is this gonna go to that weird place again now? Yep. See that first... that first ball it just throw... They're literally just grabbing the ball and throwing it in the middle where I can't hit it. Like... God damn. At least in the previous game it was bad bounces, but this is just... The enemy grabs the ball and carries it over and throws it where you can't hit it. I still have 19 balls though, like, is it not counting down, or is there for some reason a maximum display of 19 balls, and I actually have more than that. I really hate this. It goes off to the side and then dumps it down a level. I don't want my ball getting dumped down a level. Oh, fuck you. Fuck, fuck, fuck this game. What a piece of shit. God damn. This is... This is almost as bad as Sonic Spinball. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, what's this? These guys again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Already lost one of my balls. We just gotta bust He-Man out of his bubble now. God fucking damn it. That's the second time I've gotten to like the last hit that I needed. me straight down the middle. Calm down, lady. Okay, it is open again. There we go. At least I got a couple of hits with my second ball before I lost it. God damn, hit something, fucking ball. God damn, I... Why wasn't I getting any hits on anything? I spend way too much time just watching the ball automatically shoot everywhere. Like, there's something wrong with the ball physics here. There's not even any sense in it going that fast. Bouncing that hard off of just random brickwork. Great! I had two things open and now they're going to be closed because the game decided to fuck me. Ridiculous. Huh? Who the 
thought it who thought who thought it made sense to make the ball that bouncy? God damn you. Fuck. Fuck shit. Fuck. This goddamn thing. Fuck this piece of shit game. God, it's awful. This is so bad. And the last one was so good, other than the difficulty. Physics make me want to barf. Only the table shudders around, trying to keep up with the ball. What just happened there? The ball just went through the paddle to fuck me. Oh, I'm starting to actually lose balls now. Good. Good. So we won't be playing forever. That's good. This game does not deserve to be beaten. dragon open, but of course, every time I get something open, it shoots down the hole. Oh my god, what an awful, awful, awful game. I don't know why the table goes dark sometimes, I don't even know what that is. Probably just so badly programmed it can't keep the lights on. Can I play, please? Thank you. Stop playing with yourself, game, and let me play. I'm trying to think of something positive to say about this game. The table is bigger necessarily a good thing, it's definitely overcomplicated. Okay, what do we got? Okay, we're back here again. So I guess this is always gonna be this until I beat it. What's happening now? Oh, lava monster. Oh god. Okay, this is a really multi-stage battle here. What the fuck was that? <sighs> oh. 
Oh my god, the physics is so bad in this game. What's happening now? As I was saying, the physics is so bad in this game. Like, it was quite good in Dragon's Fury. You know, you would notice some stuff here and there, but... In the 16-bit era... 16-bit era was pretty good. This is... Awful. This is worse than a... NES pinball game. Why'd the lights just go out? What was that? What was that noise? Physics designed by a hyperactive toddler here. This is fun, watching watching the game play pachinko with itself. Well, that's open. Come on, that should have gone in the... Why is it not going in? Because it's so insanely hyperactive. this game. So terrible. Point to the head flying around, it doesn't seem like you can like interact with it or anything. See these bonus stages are set up to like funnel the ball through the middle of the fucking paddles so that you can't hit it. Like they're set up as a funnel. Like, every decision they made with this game was the wrong decision. Ooh. 
Oh boy. What was all that about? Beautiful. Okay, what now? This is my guy. Well, we got lucky there. On the tree branches. We've still got two balls. Now we don't have any. Because it just... Awful game. Awful... Awful game. So terrible. Go play Dragon's Fury. Play Dragon's Fury. Practice it, get good at it. Learn the table, learn the special stages. Just play that one twice instead of playing this one at all. Get a Turbo Graphics 16 and play Alien Crush. Get a Windows 95 and play, um, what was that one that came with Windows? Space Cadet Pinball.
this hurts to play. I, I really don't want to try again. I want to hurry up and lose my lives. So I have an excuse to quit playing. This is just not... It's just not even fun. here assholes I'm trying to hit that thing and they're just continuously in the way game. Do you want me to play or do you want to play yourself? What the fuck was that? Huh? I agree, lady. Huh? And here goes this again. time. Yes, we won this time. Okay. So we've got a lava monster loose. Not sure if that's going to help us. How do I still have 16 balls? Please.
Oh, that certainly is a special ball. Why is it counting down? Oh, it's just turning my ball back to normal. Something different's happening up here. You guys are stopping and standing still. Fucking huh? Yeah. Fifteen balls left, that's way too many. I think the lower dragon, yeah, the lower dragon head is open again. This isn't even fun, watching the game bounce the ball back and forth. Oh hey, it came out to the flippers. Why did I say that I should have let it go?
Have I not beat this one yet? Oh, that's right, it's one of the ones where I got to literally the last hit. I don't even know what that's supposed to be in the top right corner. Some kind of weird lip, lip, lips and flowers thing, I don't know. Waste of an evening. Hmm. I do believe this is the worst game I've played. for the YouTube channel. It's not the worst game I've ever played, obviously. I think it's the worst one I've played on YouTube. how even the lady doesn't doesn't believe what's going on she's in complete agreement with my attitude just looking at this game going huh they made that choice in programming it beautiful. Just the right angle to go right between both sets of flippers. Oh, 
I don't think I would call this a bonus. Like extra punishment around. The ball just goes right through the enemies half the time. Specifically on that on that stage specifically. Not on the other ones, just that one. Wow, this is fun. Yay, one less ball. What are these? Are these Lovecraftian squid face creatures? Is that what these are? That's something hanging off their face. Maybe they're might be ant ant pinchers. even going on. It's an absolute mess of a game. It's it has sped up, it's gotten even worse. Dragon's Revenge. So fast you won't even know what the hell's going on. Fantastic.
It's it's burn. Just so many times I've kept both balls alive for quite a while. And then as soon as one of them goes down, the other one is like magnetically bound to it. it has to go too. What is even happening? Huh? I don't know why I'm getting emotionally invested. It's such a bad game. Sunk cost policy. I've been playing so long already that I've win. Clearly I'm not going to though. Down to nine balls and I've only beaten two of the stages I think. gonna try again. This is the only time I'm trying. Once these balls are gone, I will never play this game again. I know. Oh, <laughs> 
Great. Oh no. I lost another ball. I'm so sad. Slow down, Jesus Christ. I don't know. I don't even. I regret trying the first time. Supposed to be able to even see what's going on at this point. Because it can't. Yeah. Okay, we are mercifully almost done. Down to four balls. Bang up stuff there, gang. Really? 
really engaging. Watching a ball slowly go tap, 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 tap down all the enemies. Okay, so we beat that one. Oh boy. Oh, oh. 
I'm sleepy. Just watch the game play itself. Who knows how long? I'm literally afraid I might fall asleep here in a minute. Wouldn't be the first time. Tell me, lady. Almost done with this game and it's tragic. Yeah, I'm definitely never gonna play this again. It's really tedious how many times you have to hit this thing to open it up.
Oh, I've got... Th I had three balls now. No, I don't think I will. This try was one too many. It's really fun watching the ball bounce all on its own for minutes at a time. The weird thing is I'm kind of getting used to some aspects of the physics. Like the speed is still just ridiculous. But I'm getting a bit of a feel for the flippers now. I mean they don't feel right, but I'm understanding it a bit more. Well, what's happening here? Whatever it is, it's not going to happen for long. I've already lost two out of three balls. Why did... what? The b what? The ball didn't go down. The ball was still up above the paddle and it just... It just cut out. didn't lose the ball. What? Oh no! I've got no balls. And I must scream.
Whoops, I was trying to go down to just the middle one. So I could try to hit that arrow. Take one less crack at whatever that is. it great now I get an extra ball so what we're doing Capsulates. A what? Really encapsulates this game. It's lame and goofy, but it won't let you stop playing. It keeps giving me extra balls because it doesn't want me to go on with my life. It doesn't want to see me happy. So it's keeping me in this abusive relationship and not letting me leave. I'm starting to think that that upper dragon isn't going to open up again. Because... It hasn't in a long time. Like, did I complete two missions inside the Upper Dragon? God. And we're done. No more Dragon's Revenge. So, I mean, uh, I guess it's not as bad as I was making it out to be, as far as a 16-bit pinball game goes. It's nowhere near as good as Dragon's Fury on the gameplay front, or the, uh, really on any front. Yeah. Dragon's Fury is just universally better, and it came before. The older one is better. This was... This is pretty bad, though. I mean, it's mediocre at best. Do not recommend. You just far better things to do with your time these days. 
so many games since then. I only did it for completeness since I did the previous one. <laughs> 